Yeah, this place is this place is a mess. I know. I'm in the middle of moving stuff around so that 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 pile of nonsense has books on it. But it's deciding. But that's it's deciding what books. But that's not the the point here. The point is to talk about sausages: the making of dog soldiers by Janine Pipe. I'd like to thank Encycle Apocalypse for sending out an early release copy, because this doesn't come out till the 10th. At least the digital version doesn't come out till the 10th. Paperback and hardcover, I believe, is the 13th, and I'll have a link down below so y'all can pre-order this. This is a f interesting one. So I have never really reviewed anything non-fiction on the channel, and honestly, after I left college... I really dialed back the nonfiction for the most part because I read so many textbooks and stuff, especially like film textbooks that like I didn't, I didn't want to read any for a very long time. So I got sent this and I was like, huh, okay. And well, why don't I get into Dog Soldiers and my relationship with the film? Dog Soldiers is one of those movies that if you're in America, it played on Sci-Fi Channel all the time it might still do on they may still do it on halloween and you're like oh it's an actual movie whereas like they don't they really don't care now but back in the day with sci-fi before sharknado came out and all they did was play shark movies very very terrible shark movies i might add they would do all sorts of different really horrible movies like they'd have Abominable Sm Snowman Day, they have a bunch of Abominable Snowman movies, including the Lance Henriksen film, Ab Abominable? Why did I pick a word that I can barely say? I don't know, but that one wasn't bad, but they would do werewolf ones, and there's a lot of terrible werewolf movies, but they put Dog Soldiers on here, and Dog Soldiers is actually a, a decent to good film. It is. Uh, it's very much a B-movie. Uh, the plot of Dog Soldiers is the group of uh, British soldiers are sent into the countryside for a training mission, uh, and they find out they're being hunted by werewolves, and they have to try to survive. That's the basic synopsis of Dog Soldiers. It's a lot like, it reminds me of Predator and Aliens a lot. Aliens with the whole, they're stuck somewhere. Uh, Predator with, like, all the macho talk and stuff and the camaraderie, which they also have in Aliens. Or uh, something like Rio Bravo, the uh, John Wayne film where you're stuck in, in a place. Or Assault on Precinct. It reminds me of a lot of movies that I like. And it's one of those things I really like when people are stuck in a small space and they have to work together. And this is one of those. But anyway, Janine Pipe is a huge fan of dog soldiers and she goes into it this is a fan's partly a fan's memoir of the film but also like the making of it it's the most in-depth making of book that i've read that wasn't a textbook um it's a very well written um book it goes from like the pre-production stuff to shot for shot the film to post-production to reception from in interviews and like what happened to dog soldiers too and just things like that and like talking about casting and writing the script and how films like this it's really hard to get made um so Sausages is interesting in that regard. And for the hardcore Dog Soldiers fans, which there are quite a few of them out there, they're going to get a lot out of this. I'm not a hardcore Dog Soldiers fan, but I still thoroughly enjoyed this from a low-budget filmmaker's perspective. I mean, I, I made Bloodlust, one of the worst short films ever made. <laughs> so, like... I, I appreciate a lot of, like, the blood, sweat, and tears that went into this. And it's, it's like, it basically chronicles friends making a movie, which is always fun. That was my first student film. My second one was an absolute crapshoot. But anyway, what I didn't like about this book, it's, 
when you get into the shot for shot, like we're going into the script, we're looking at the storyboards, and that's something I didn't mention. There are pre, there's photos throughout, there's uh, parts of the script are put in to compare and contrast how lines are delivered. There's like, th there's things like that. And if you have not seen Dog Soldiers, it spoils the whole movie. So you need to go watch Dog Soldiers. It's pretty easy to get um, before reading this if you haven't seen it. For me, I had seen it in years. So I had to go rewatch the film and come back and read the uh, shot for shot stuff because I wasn't remembering things. Uh, which I'm so glad I did, because once you watch it, reading this goes really fast. Um, the interview stuff I thought was was fun, um, but, like, I don't... It's hard to write a book like this, I think, because it's such a niche thing, but you gotta write it so that more than just the niche Dog Soldiers fans are going to get something out of it. And I think for the, like, student filmmaker, I think they can get something out of this. So if I was like to teach a film class, I could have this as a textbook and I think the students would like it and get a lot from it. Because it's literally, it's written by a fan and you get that throughout and you get her like little commentary on characters and stuff and that's fun. It's a, it's a fun story. Would I recommend this? Yeah. And that's, that's my, I can recommend it to the fan base for Dog Soldiers, of course. They're going to eat this up. And I love that it's called Sausages, because it's a little inside joke throughout the film. Um, also, I can recommend it to people that are interested in making films, like specifically horror movies or like low-budget filmmaking. And what all goes into that. And it... If you are into, like, non-fiction horror stuff, I think you'd get something out of this, too. It's it's niche, but it's not, it's not unapproachable. It's very easy to read. It doesn't feel like a textbook. Although, it could easily be a textbook, but it doesn't feel like that. It'd be, like, the best kind of textbook where you're going to learn something, but it's going to be fun to read while you learn it. So, anyway, I give this a solid 4 out of 5. I thoroughly enjoyed it, but there are things, like, with the chapter breakdown, when we get into the shot-for-shot -shot stuff for the film, it's all one chapter, and it's, like, a 150... Close. It's, like, half the book is one chapter. So that, when I was reading it on my breaks and stuff, I had to be, like, very careful where I stopped so I could find it I remember what I was doing that's that's like my only thing is that the chapter breakdown and I'm reading an advanced reader's copy it could be changed by the time you all uh, pre-order and get your copies they could change that but honestly it's still well worth your time I recommend. Once again, thank you to Encyclopocalypse for sending me out an advanced reader copy of this. Go check out the links below for the digital copy, which comes out on the 10th. And the physical copies, both paperback and I do believe hardcover, they come out on the 13th. Um, anyway, guys, thank you for watching and have a good day. Oh, and I totally forgot to mention... Uh, congratulations to Dog Soldiers for turning 20. I do believe that's the 10th. This is the 20th anniversary. And make sure you check out, I know this doesn't have to really do with Encyclopocalypse, but they're releasing a 4K remaster that comes out in July. I've already got a pre-order for it, so go, go snag those, because it seems like they fixed the, um, the issues that the Shout Factory release had where they actually i think found the original negative remastered so go check that out